Right now, the military government is actively uh, pursuing policies of genocide within the country and trying to basically get rid of any of their opposition through uh, extremely long jail sentences and hunting villages down, burning down villages, and uh, killing members of very specific tribes. One of the things that we decided uh, to do was to see what the power of art could do and working as a group could do as opposed to working as individuals fighting for uh, getting information out there about Burma. We tried to do this in a gentle way. We're not trying to throw this in people's faces. The idea is that to really and truly be creative, you have to be free. And so the artists decided to do work that it's their own work. They didn't do work in, that was specifically aimed at freedom. The freedom comes from their words, and it's the words about freedom. And some of the statements are political, and some of the statements are simply about the freedom they feel in creating. But that was the whole thing that tied this together. Now, Aung San Suu Kyi, um, was the democratically elected leader in Burma in their only free election. And she has never been allowed to run her country. She has, in fact, spent most of the last 19 years either under house arrest or in prison. Uh, the country was taken over by a military faction called the Junta. And even today, her, her ability to run the country, even though she has the world behind her, uh, is threatened yet again, and she's actually on trial at this moment in prison in another effort to keep her uh, from participating in elections in Burma in 2010. One of the reasons why she's such a central figure there and why the government fights so hard to keep her from uh, running the country and, and tries to keep her away from the public is because she's one of the only figures that all of the different tribes are actually willing to follow. Um, they'll, they put all of their, their uh, tribal differences aside for the bigger picture and she embraces all. get all the time is well, why does the country have two different names? Uh, one is Burma and the other is Myanmar. Um, Burma is the traditional name of the country and it is the name of the country that uh, Aung San Suu Kyi was elected under. Um, but Myanmar is the name of the country that was uh, given by the, the military regime that's in power now. And it's a, an attempt to completely transform the country and remove it as much as possible from uh, anything in, in uh, its past. My country is Burma. Bora Bang, Thailand, Lao, Bangladesh, China, and India. There are 57 million people in my country. In 1988, I was attending final year at Rangoon University. At the time, all our situation was deteriorating by the military regime. 
people want democracy and human rights. In 1989, I gave a speech to the public about democracy and human rights. After that, I was arrested by the military intelligence. I stayed in the solitary confinement for seven years. My cell was eight feet by 12 feet, very narrow cell. My cell, a day and night, it is so dark. And then at the time, I could not speak anybody. I could not talk anybody. I could not read any book. They didn't give me enough food, enough water. They give me mental torture and physical torture day by day. After that, I was forcefully iron chain and iron bar between my legs for more than one year. They torture me and then they put a small sharp stone on the ground and they make me crawl on the sharp stone. When I was crawling on the sharp stone, they beat me more than 100 times. Actually, things are very bad in Burma, and it's as bad, if not worse, than Darfur. But one of the problems is the country, the borders are closed so tightly, and information is held so tightly in Burma that uh, it's very difficult uh, to get this information out. Any information that we do receive about the country has pretty much been smuggled out. Um, one of the things that people don't realize is that they have the largest child army there. There are, from, it's been estimated, and it is probably more than this, 70,000 children have been uh, forced into the military there. Going hungry for most of the people is reality.